High up in the Ministry of Foods office in a London square is a very ordinary looking kitchen. Now, this is where those recipes sent in by listeners to the Kitchen Front broadcasts are brought to be tried out. They come from all parts of the country and every likely looking effort is given a trial. Now this idea for a ginger pudding looks pretty good, but you can never tell until it's been made. And so the cook decides to see how it'll turn out. Now what's first? Ah yes, the cooking fat and margarine must be weighed out. Next, add the sugar. Add sugar. Oh, sorry, I, I'm so used to giving these things out at dictation speed. Now, cream the butter and sugar. Wonder how many times I've said that. The listener's recipe is always followed exactly. Flour next, one, two, three, four, five. In go the rest of the ingredients. Won't be long now before we're seeing results. Can you wonder that it sometimes makes my mouth water, giving out tasty recipes like this in an empty broadcasting studio while listeners are tucking into a good breakfast? All that remains now is to pop the pudding on the stove and wait patiently or impatiently while it cooks. But the proof of the pudding is in the tasting. Any time of the day, employees of the Ministry of Food are liable to be pounced on and asked to pronounce judgment on the latest recipe. At this time, it's the lift men's turn to be used as human guinea pigs. And they don't get danger money for being experimented on either. If it tastes as good as it looks, there shouldn't be any grumbles when this suggestion from a listener goes over the air. But our unofficial food tasters don't always like what they're given, though perhaps it isn't fair to try a ginger pudding on somebody who dislikes ginger. Oh, don't say it's a flop. No, he enjoys it. And now you'll know what's gone on behind the scenes when you hear me say this morning's suggestion comes from a listener, and very good it is. <laughs> 